know your mind. In order to know what is yourself, definition of yourself, who am I really, you need to know your mind. Why? Because mind is everything, all is mind. Everything you experience are forms of the mind. So as human beings, we experience mind on two levels. There is the experience of a conditioned human mind, thoughts, coming and going, coming and going, non-stop, 24-7, either in a way of um, wakeful reality or either in a way of dreams during the sleep. This is one level of mind that we experience. There is also a deeper level of mind that we can experience, which is always steady, always calm, always blissful, always completely at peace, always balanced. Now, most of you do not even know that this part of mind exists. And yet, this is what is. This is the pure mind, the natural mind, what is. You can experience it through going into the silence and practicing silence on a daily basis. And then you will go deeper and deeper into your mind. And you will not stay just with the superficial, experiential, human, conditioned mind, but you will go deeper and settle into the steady part of the mind, into the still mind, into the pure mind. And once you settle there, you will still experience, of course, the human condition thoughts coming and going, coming and going. But you will be connected with the mind, with the still part, with the pure part, with the natural mind. And you will not be taken for a ride by your, by your thoughts. And even if you are, you will come back to the still part, to the pure part, all the time. And the more you practice that, the more the mind will do it by itself. From the start, you sort of have to bring the mind back when it, when it catches on to the moving part of the mind, to the conditioned mind, and goes on with the thoughts for a ride that never ends. That ride goes on and on and on, but you have to pull it back to come back into the steel part and stay there and be away there in the steel part. But after a while, when you practice that on a daily basis, more and more, not just when you are sitting and drifting into the silence, but even when you do other chores during the day, when you walk, when you sit, even when you go to sleep, you sort of focus yourself on the part of the mind that is still unmoving, pure mind. And after a while of this practice, and I, I'm, I'm talking about all this out of, out of personal experience, the mind will settle itself in the still part, in the unmoving part, and will cut off the thoughts, will not again engage with the moving thoughts anymore. The thoughts will still come and go, will still appear and disappear, but the mind itself will not jump onto it, will not engage with it, will just stay still. And the thoughts will come and go, as they do. There will be no more thinking, obsessive thinking, going on and on and on. Any thought, regardless of its content, will appear and disappear, will rise and fall, just like that, naturally. The mind itself will take care of it, and the mind itself will, st will stay completely at peace, completely calm, completely balanced regardless of all the thoughts, impressions, 
sensations, feelings that, that arise. This is when you start experiencing real peace, real balance, real ease of being, reconnecting, reconnecting with the pure mind, with the still mind. And it really happens like that. It's good that you understand the path to get there. But once you understand that, once you understand that there is a way to get to this peace, that there, that there is a way that has been experienced by other people throughout the history of mankind, and you know that it's inside you, it's in here all the time, then you yourself can go onto that path and be confident that all these experiences that you might have read about or listened about or watch people talk about them will occur for you too in your own way. All you need to do is, is go in there, practice, practice, practice. And the more you practice, the deeper into the mind you will go the more and more you will reconnect with the pure mind, with the original mind, with the natural mind. And the more you will be at peace. And the more you will get into so-called stream of that original pure mind. And, and, and once you're in the stream, things happen. The mind does the work itself. You just let go of everything. You might consider going on this path yourself or you might just want a peace of mind as we call it and either way, start on the path, start practicing silence, start practicing going deeper and deeper into the mind. Look for the level or the layer of the mind that is still, that is not moving and settle yourself there and then practice being settled there, and the more, the more you practice, the more the mind will automatically, automatically stop engaging with the moving parts, stop engaging with the thoughts. And you will go beyond the birth and death, beyond all the suffering that comes with, with so-called life. It all happens here and now. There is no need for any special isolation, for any special living in a different way. It all happens here and now. And it's accessible to all of us. To people like me, like you, who have never undergone undergone any special training, who have never gone to any special place or retreat to train in any special way. There just needs to be a resolve and understanding of what is possible and what is there and what actually is. And gradually, if you decide to proceed on this path, you will reconnect with the knowing that is inside the pure mind, the still mind, and this knowing comes out of there and grows and grows. And everything becomes completely clear. No more confusion. No more pain. No more sadness or happiness. Just a complete equalness, a complete balance, and a complete knowing and understanding of everything as is. It happens for each one of us. Try. Take care.
Bye-bye.